target practice. Everybody getting into the act. Durant fires for three. Got it. Got it. Here's Thompson for three. Big shot by Steph Curry. Well, last week, multiple media reports said that the Cavs wanted to keep Kevin Love, regardless of LeBron returning to Cleveland or not. Now, we know he is heading to Los Angeles to play for the Lakers. Monday, Jason Lloyd of The Athletic says that multiple sources from around the league insist that the Cavs are indeed open to moving Kevin Love. He's on the books for $24 million next season, $25.5 million on a player option for the 1920 season. Billy, should the Cavs look to deal Kevin Love? I don't think they should look the deal, but I think they should listen to any offers from, any, from anybody because they're in a position right now and they're not where they were trying to get to a championship. So they got to listen. If somebody makes a deal for Kevin Love, even though he's in the last year of his deal, so you don't want to take a contract back, now this is somebody you want to build with going forward. So if you're getting young pieces, yes. But just to trade them, I wouldn't just give them away. There are other guys in that roster with two years in their deal. I would try to do everything I can to move them to try to give you cap flexibility. But Kevin Love is somebody that – if you want to let them play it out and then use that space at the end of the year or maybe trade them at the deadline. But you know, you're going to listen to offers right now because you're not really going anywhere right now. LeBron's gone. So you're going to listen to offers to anybody in that right. roster. And Kevin's probably the, the most valuable. And the other thing that you could also entertain is if you feel like you have a bad contract, you could put that in the deal. If you want Kevin Love, you've got to take this contract with it. Like right. George Hill. George Hill. You might even consider J.R. Smith. Yeah. You know, so, like, those are other ways that you can try to get rid of contracts that you deem to be bad contracts at this point based on where that roster is. So it's something that they're definitely going to have to look at moving forward. Uh, and, and if you're Kevin Love, you probably would welcome the opportunity, having gotten used to playing for championships. Right. You know, he'd probably like the opportunity to go play for a contender. Looking up and down the east with the broad Audi, are the Cavs a playoff team? I don't think so. No. Yeah, I just don't think Even, so. Right, LeBron. Well, remember this so. team with LeBron only won. They won 50. <laughs> right. It wasn't like they were winning 60, 62. Right. So that roster, absent LeBron, absent Kyrie, uh, it, it's not quite the same. And they still got decisions. Like the Hood's a free agent, so they've they've yeah. got to make some decisions on some guys. There are still plenty of good free agents out in the market, both of the unrestricted and restricted variety.